Hey guys, it's Hasa, and over the years I've gotten a lot of comments asking me how I make my videos and if I have any tips on starting a Beanie Boo channel. So that is why today I'm going to be showing you guys the behind the scenes of one of my videos and also just everything you need to know about making Beanie Boo videos. I hope this helps you guys out, so let's get started. The first step is to obviously come up with a video idea, and this can be anything. This can be a Beanie Boo review, a haul, a shopping video, a skit a short film, a series, a random comedy video, literally anything that comes to your mind. When I don't have video ideas, I take inspiration from what I see on TV, what I experience in real life. Like for example, when I first started online school, I was like, hmm, why don't I make a Beanie Boo skit about a Zoom call? And it ended up doing really well because it was what a lot of other people were experiencing at the same time. Once I know what video I'm gonna make, I like to write a script. I don't write a script for every single video I make, usually just for my skits and short films, and for talking videos like these, I sometimes like to write an outline of the basic things that I'm gonna say. Having a script by my side just helps me stay organized, and it helps me remember everything that I wanted to say in that video. And I don't follow it exactly, a lot of times in my skits and short films I'll like improvise or add scenes or add dialogue, so yeah, it's just a helpful tool. I write my scripts on the notes app on my computer, and here's what one of them looks like. So here's the script for one of the episodes of Beanie Boo Hollywood. As you can see, they're not super professional. I just kind of have like the name of the character and then what they're gonna say over here. And then like maybe I'll write down if like the scene changes or something. But yeah, that's kind of what my scripts look like. The next step is to figure out where you're gonna film. And this step is pretty important because it's what your viewers are gonna be seeing in the video. For sit down videos like this, I just talk to you guys on my bed, but for stuff like skits and short films, I recommend filming on like a desk or any hard surface that you have. I actually film on like these two little white blocks of wood that I set up and just put my Beanie Boos on. This is what it looks like. I pretty much film most of my Beanie Boo videos on these two pieces of wood, which are kind of propped up by my pillows. And then just over here, I have, you know, my Beanie Boo and I record like this, you know? I like having the plain white background because it isn't super distracting, but you can put different colors and just experiment with it. The main place I wouldn't recommend filming is on the carpet, on the floor, because I used to film that way and it didn't look super professional. So if it's possible, try to film on a hard surface. Next step is to find good lighting. This is also super duper important. I like natural light, so like light coming from a window, so it'd be great if you can find a place to film where the window is like right in front of it. You can also use lamps and stuff like that. And I have these filming lights that I got from Amazon and they are super duper helpful because I can film at night and I don't have to depend on the sun and stuff. Here's what the video would look like without the lamps, so there's a pretty big difference. I think they make the video look pretty great and professional, but if you're just starting out, natural light is great for making videos. Next is deciding what you're gonna film the video with. And a lot of people assume that I have like a big fancy camera to film my videos, but I gotta admit, I don't know how to use a camera and I don't actually have a camera. So I just film with my phone and you can film with anything you have, just your phone, your tablet. And if you do like to use a camera, then that's great. You can also use a camera to film your videos. I also really, really, really recommend getting a tripod to hold up whatever you're filming on. I got my tripod from Amazon and it is super helpful because it makes my videos not shaky and also I can just record without having to hold the camera the whole time, which is really, really good. Today I'm going to be filming a Beanie Boo skit where Frost, the main character, can't sleep. So I'm going to be taking you guys along the way and showing you the behind the scenes of how I make my sets and just giving you tips about how to film. The main set in this video is going to be her bedroom. So I need to think about what I need to put into that set to make it look like a realistic room. So I'm going to need a bed, a nightstand, a backdrop, and maybe some other props. So I'm going to show you where I store my props. So here is where I store everything. In this cube, I have a basket that just has all of my Beanie Boo clothes in it. So like here I have some dresses, here's a flower crown. And underneath is a bunch of paper stuff that I use as like backdrops for my videos. And here I have most of my furniture props. And here is just even more props. And more, and more, and more. 
And if you're wondering where I got all of my props, I got them from literally everywhere. No joke. This refrigerator I found at Goodwill. This nightstand I found at Dollar Tree. This bed I made myself out of a literal tissue box, paper, and a bathroom towel by following a tutorial on YouTube. This car is from my old childhood toys that I had. So my backdrops I print out on my printer. This couch I got from Target's doll furniture line. And these are little hair clips that I found in some random drawer that I use for my Beanie Boos. I like using Jenga blocks to make Beanie Boo desks. You really just gotta be creative and you can make really good looking sets out of stuff you already have. So here is a time lapse of me making the set for my new video called I Can't Sleep, which by the way, when you guys are seeing this video, it'll already be out on my channel. So once you're done with this video, go check it out if you haven't already. But yeah, here I am putting all the furniture into the frame and I love adding clutter like the iPod to the nightstand there. It's just the little details that count. So here is what the set looks like. Obviously when I'm filming, I'll film like from these angles so you can't see that there's just a bunch of white space there. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good for her bedroom. So now the next step is to actually film your video. And I have some tips for you guys that you gotta know before filming a Beanie Boo video. The first tip is to practice the characters' voices. Making all the Beanie Boos have different voices makes it so that your viewers can like differentiate between which Beanie Boo is talking and which Beanie Boo isn't. And it's just fun to be honest. Sometimes I'll have one Beanie Boo with my regular voice, I'll have another one with a really, really deep voice. I'll have another one with a super high pitched voice. So yeah, practice your voices. The next tip is to really have your acting down. Acting is a really, really big part of what makes a Beanie Boo skit or short film really good. Like there's this one scene in the skit I'm filming right now where I'm gonna have to act really, really scared because the character is really, really scared. So I'll have to scream and like hyperventilate and stuff. Would you rather watch this? <gasps> Is someone in the house? Oh my dog, oh my dog, oh my dog. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, 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 uh. Hi! Or this. Is someone in the house? Oh gee, that's really concerning. I'm really, really scared. Ah! Ah! Acting's important, guys. Also, when you're filming, try not to get your arm into the shot too much. What I mean is don't go like this to hold the beanie boo. Instead, try just holding the beanie boo like this because it's way less distracting and I used to have my arm in the shot all the time when I was younger and it was really distracting. Another tip I have for you guys is to change the angle ever so often. Let's say you're recording from this perspective, maybe you'll want to change it to this perspective, you know? It just makes it more interesting. So now everything is set up, I have my script by my side, and I'm ready to film. I am now done filming and all that jazz, so now it's time for editing. There are quite literally hundreds of video editing apps out there, so you just gotta find the one that you like the most. Personally, I use iMovie, and the main things that I do in iMovie is that I cut up and trim the clips. I kind of trim out like the empty spaces between when I'm talking and when I'm not. And the other thing that I always, always do is that I add music to the video. Videos just feel so dull and lifeless without background music and when you're doing skits and short films it adds so much emotion like doesn't the video i'm filming right now sound just super boring without the background music i recommend just looking up into the youtube search bar non-copyright music there are a bunch of non-copyright background songs that you can use i would really really recommend kevin macleod's music they're great for skits and short films i always use his songs i also like to add sound effects did i do my Lots and lots of sound effects. 
Editing is kind of a process where you learn by doing it. So yeah, I recommend just playing around in your editing software and seeing what you can do to make your videos better and you'll get better over time. So there you have it guys, that's how you make a Beanie Boo YouTube video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope this helped out some of you. I hope that you guys actually make your own Beanie Boo YouTube videos, I'd love to see them. Thank you so so much for watching this video, please comment, like, subscribe, and bye bye!